Hello students, I'm Naomi Shem, your business librarian here at UW-Whitewater. I'm here with a quick four-minute video that is sure to help you improve your group research project for Management 301. Your group report task is to watch a movie that illustrates some organizational behavior concepts, analyze the movie, and provide recommendations based on the analysis. This video will help you with step two and three, analyzing the movie and providing recommendations using theories about OB. You should definitely be using the OB theories as defined in your course textbook, but you can easily go beyond that and really impress your professor by using relevant academic content from elsewhere. You already likely know that information on the internet is more likely to be biased for a variety of reasons, so let's spend your research time finding higher quality content from one of our library subscription databases for business, either Business Premium Collection or Business Source Complete. You should be able to access both of these databases from off-campus by going to them from libguides.uww.edu slash business databases. Once in either one of these databases, they look slightly different but both search in the same way. I would not search for the movie name specifically because there probably aren't any articles that specifically analyze the movie Mission Impossible Fallout to use the example from your syllabus. However, terms like organizational behavior in combination with specific OB principles like conflict management, are all good search terms. I'm getting a ton of results for that first search, so here's one easy way to limit to more relevant articles. Use quotation marks around common phrases to tell the database to search for those words next to each other as a phrase. For example, organizational behavior is one concept that just requires two words, so I'll use quotes there, and conflict management is also a single concept with two words. That gives me way fewer results. You can also continue adding other search words to get more specific results. For example, maybe terms like leadership or stress or other terms that were relevant to the situation you saw in the movie. Take a look at what results you're getting here. I see a lot of dissertations, which are more like book-length research pieces. For this assignment, you probably want to limit to either scholarly journals or trade journals, which are business and industry-specific magazines. When you select a scholarly article like this one, these can be a little intimidating because they're long and can have a lot of academic jargon and charts and such. But you don't have to read and understand every single word. Instead, look at the abstract first to get an idea what it's about. Specifically, the findings section here says they found how integrating or compromising is associated with psychosocial strain when it's taking place within a high level of work conflict. This sounds interesting. You shouldn't use just the abstract in your paper, but it gives you a clue where to look in the entire paper. You can see there are a lot of tables and graphs showing their numbers, but that's not as important for you to read as this discussion section. That's where they talk about the impact of their findings, the takeaways, the so what of all the numbers. You can probably get some good content for your paper just by reading this discussion section, and as you can see, this one is just over one page. Integrating this type of academic content in your project is an easy way to enhance your analysis and impress your professor. Finally, your assignment also requires you to cite your sources in APA style. Most people know by now about the Cite or Citation button that's available in most of our library databases, but that's not a 100% correct citation. You can start by copying that citation, but then paste it into Word and make corrections so that it matches correct APA style. Here's an example of a correct APA style citation for you to use as a model. If you'd like further directions, watch this other video on our channel on using a citation from a citation generator. Don't hesitate to ask your business librarian or the library in general if you have any questions.